coming up a sophisticated mom against god with your insecurities with your doubts with your can'ts with your won'ts with your oh this is not uh or whatever the case may be then you're actually not working with god but you're working against god and you're preventing him from actually bringing that type of love in your life so yes that is going to seem very hopeless for you because that is what you're putting out and that is what you are allowing god to work in your life <laughs> Dedication, preservation, take a look inside, be your salvation, do every good work, it takes patience, like a butterfly, transformation. What's up guys, Sophie here back with another video, and if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated on all my videos. And don't forget to check the description box because I always put a lot of stuff in there including my book for single women which if you're watching this video you are probably going to want to get because what I'm talking about is if you are single and you are starting to feel hopeless in love so let's get into it shall we so I know that I'm all about you know being single and happy <laughs> but 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 I never want people to underestimate the value of relationships and understand that yes you could be single and happy and that is something that you should be but you can also aspire to have love and just because you're single and happy and bossing up your own life you should never feel like oh my god there's no good man out there and now I'm hopeless forever and nobody's ever gonna find me whoa it's me now I'm gonna be single for life forever I mean, if that's what you want, then, you know, do you, boo. <laughs> Nobody's going to stop you, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to feel that way, right? So one thing that you have to do is that you have to trust God during this period. Whenever you read about certain couples in the Bible, you have to understand that God's timing is perfect. God is the father and he can orchestrate some amazing things and he can have people or situation aligned up perfectly so that you can meet your perfect match, right? If you go to the story of Jacob and Rachel, <laughs> Jacob set out to find a wife and it had like all these specific stipulations that it had to be from his father's tribe and all this, that, and the third. And as soon as he entered into the land where he was seeking for a wife, like he automatically found Rachel. I'm sure Rachel wasn't just sitting up there pining and whining and looking for a husband. But in that particular instance, it was the right timing. God orchestrated her to be in the right place to come from the right tribe, to come from the right environment. And therefore, Jacob found her. We also see the, the same situation with Esther. It just so happened that the king kicked Vashti's behind out because she wasn't, you know, respecting him. And then it wasn't even like, you know, the king wanted to gather other royal women. He just gathered women from all over the provinces, which was probably thousands of them. And Esther just so happened to be put in a position to become queen. And she was just a regular behind person. We also see that with Ruth. Ruth's situation wasn't like it was a joyous situation that led her to Bethlehem, but ultimately what led her to Bethlehem was that her husband had died and that she was trying to be supportive to her mother-in-law. So when she came to Bethlehem, you know, she put herself in position and she went to work and there she found Boaz. So what I'm saying is that, you know, you have to be so busy living your life and waiting with expectancy, knowing that if you desire to have love in your heart in your life a good man or whatever you have to believe that every single situation that you go through provided that you are following god's plan for your life that he is leading you to the right person and not necessarily feel like it's within your power to do to control to find to feel hopeless or whatever just stay positive and if you know that god is the father and you're doing your thing then then i believe that the man that god has for you will be on that destination that God is um that God the road that God is telling you to walk down so therefore your responsibility is to find your own road to success and I put this in one of my videos chase your purpose and not the man and this is specifically why because I believe that once you're so busy living your life and not necessarily focused on the hopelessness of never finding anybody God will put you in the position and put the other person in position at the right time and you'll find each other and you have to believe that he's in control because if you're so hopeless and you know that you want to get married and you're saying that it's not going to happen then basically you are saying that you don't trust God to give you 
what you feel that you deserve or what you feel is the promises of the Bible because he said he will give you the desires of your heart. So if love, a husband, marriage is in the desires of your heart. If you're feeling so hopeless that you feel like that's not going to happen, then you're saying that you feel like God can't give you that. Which is why first and foremost, you have to change your man mindset. Whatever a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Never underestimate the fact that you can, you know, faith of a mustard seed. But faith is the things um, that are unseen, right? So even though you might be super single, even though nobody might be coming on to you, even though it might seem like you might not find a man and you've been single forever in a lifetime, you have to choose to have faith that this is not what God has for you. And that is when you have to change your mindset. Because if you say, I'm a boss behind woman that is deserving of a wonderful relationship, and that is what you're thinking in your heart, then that is what you'll become. And that's the type of love that you are allowing God to bring into your heart. You cannot allow you know, God to work against your unbelief and your insecurities in order to bring you what you desire. And I have like a video on unbelief, which I'll link down in the description box. But whenever you read the New Testament and Jesus tried to heal somebody, what did he always say? Your faith has healed you. Your faith has made you whole. And on the flip side, whatever it limited Jesus when he was trying to do miracles, when he was like, ye a little faith because you lack faith or because people doubt it in their hearts, it actually prevented God from working in their lives, from giving them what they want. So if you are always working against God with your insecurities, with your doubts, with your can'ts, with your won'ts, with your, oh, this is not, uh, or whatever the case may be, then you're actually not working with God, but you're working against God and you're preventing him from actually bringing that type of love in your life. So yes, that is going to seem very hopeless for you because that is what you're putting out and that is what you are allowing God to work in your life instead of have having full faith of expectancy of thinking that you know what God I'm gonna just choose to have faith I'm not gonna pay attention to what I see and I'm gonna choose to believe that you're going to bring whatever in my life and feeding God that faith allows him to work in your life whereas feeding God doubts and insecurity insecurities it actually prevents God from working in your life and the last thing is that I want y'all to always read the Proverbs 31 woman. And if you go, I believe I have a video on this as well. If I do, then I'll definitely link it in the description box. Because one thing that I think that we need to notice is that, you know, you should always be the woman worth more than rubies. It is a lot easier for you to attract the right type of love and all this, that, and the third into your life if you're a woman that a man finds value getting with. You can't be at the bottom of the freaking totem pole, not doing anything with your life all depressed and all sucky and it's like why would anybody want to get that if you don't add joy or any value in their life just like you wouldn't want a man to have the bottom of the totem pole no job and he all sad and depressed and every time you hang around him you know he's bringing you down he can't even take you out on a date because he don't have no money he looking busted he looking crazy just like you wouldn't want that you have to understand that no man wants to partner himself with the absolute worst type of woman so even in the midst of your weight and I also have a video on this there is always something that you can be doing to improve yourself and if you're lost on where that is then just start from proverbs 31 be a woman worth more than rubies she was a businesswoman. she was taking care of her home she was mastering her life and it even says in there that her husband was a high um government like type official because that is the type of match that she made based on the type of woman that she is so sometimes it's like you want to feel real hopeless in love and that's all that you're focused and on when really there's a lot that you can be focused on focusing on in regards to yourself mainly improving yourself and mainly upgrading and leveling up yourself so that you do become the type of woman that more men will be attracted to and so if you know that then why don't you become that right that makes perfectly good sense or at least to me it did all right guys thank you guys so much i hope that you enjoyed this video and i would love to hear your thoughts on if you've been single for a long time what have you guys been working on have you ever felt that you have just felt absolutely hopeless in love and that there are no good men out there and that god is not going to bring you to one so you just might as well set set and be single for the rest of your life if so, I would definitely love to hear it. You can leave it down below and I will talk to you guys another day at a time. Bye y'all.